From a hung parliament and 17 days of indecision, Australia finally has a government. Julia Gillard tonight called on the Governor-General to tell her that she can lead a stable government. But it was a near-run thing. Labor limped to the magic number of 76 with the backing of just two of the three country independents. Rob Oakeshott and Tony Windsor say they went Julia Gillard's way for stability and for country Australia. They've also secured multi-billion dollar commitments for the bush as a spin-off. We'll begin our special coverage tonight with Chief Political Correspondent Mark Simpkin. And Mark, how did it all unfold? Like a bizarre reality TV show, Chris. The three judges delivered their verdicts one after the other and no one, not even the political leaders, knew who the winner would be. Julia Gillard went back to Government House, where the campaign began seven long weeks ago. An extraordinary election is finally over, and Julia Gillard is the first female Prime Minister elected by the people. Labor is prepared to deliver stable, effective and secure government for the next three years. But only after the country independence rode to her rescue. Can I say we live in a lively and a resilient democracy and it works. It works for some. The coalition won more votes and more seats than our opponents, uh, but sadly we did not get the opportunity to form a government. Uh, obviously I'm disappointed about that, but that's our system. I'm just going back to the meeting. Oh, oh, the I'm, I'm just going back to the to the uh, meeting. Um, you all go the same way, Bob. The independents only decided to become queen makers this afternoon. After a dramatic, frantic and final round of negotiations. Tony Abbott and Julia Gillard learned their fates when the public did. I'm not saying anything that would divulge the nature of our discussion. They wanted to vote as a bloc. We always move together. <laughs> but they didn't. Bob Catter declared his hand first. I will be backing the coalition, yes. I went for North Queensland. I went for my tribe, my homeland. That's who I went for, and it's a pity a few other members of parliament didn't do it as well. That made it 74 all. <laughs> Tony Windsor went next. I intend, uh, with, with my vote, uh, for what it's worth, to support the Labor Party. Labor's broadband plan won him over, sweetened with the promise of wholesale rates for regional areas. You do it once, you do it right, and you do it with fibre. At that point, the coalition couldn't win, but Julia Gillard was still one short of a majority. An absolute line ball... Points decision, judgment call, six of one, half a dozen of the other. Rob Oakeshott teased his way through a 15-minute explanation before finally delivering the Prime Ministership. That means confidence and supply in Julia Gillard, unless, and I emphasise unless, exceptional circumstances determine otherwise. Julia Gillard offered Rob Oakeshott a ministry, but the clincher was money rather than a job, the promise of national investments in rural hospitals, education and infrastructure. For regional Australia, they can look forward to benefits in the order of $9.9 .9 billion, but that's a fair share. This is not a mandate for any government. Their support only extends to supply and no confidence motions. All other legislation will be treated on its merits. It's going to be ugly, uh, but it's going to be beautiful in its ugliness. Let's draw back the curtains and let the sun shine in. My challenge now is to ensure uh, that I'm not the best opposition leader never to have become Prime Minister. Tony Abbott became opposition leader by one vote. Congratulations. Now Julia Gillard's beaten him by two of them. Mark Simpkin, ABC News, Canberra.